Hello my dear viewers and listeners, I hope you are doing great and today's video is about significant figures. So what is significant figures which is a number, a digit that carry meaningful contributions to its measurement resolution. So what is about it? I mean, uh, what are the rules and how we can find the significant figures from a number. So I wrote some rules that can be followed to find the significant figures from a number. Let's practice. Number one, that all non-zero digit are significant. I'm writing that all non-zero digit are significant. Think about the non-zero digit. So think about 785 or even 60,000 400 what about it so here and 243 I'm coming up with this next before going to that here are 7 8 and 5 these are all non zeros so and 2 and 43 all are non zeros so we have we have three significant figures we have three significant figures in both numbers but here are something well what are these all zeros between two non-zero digit are significant so all zeros between two non-zeros think about seven thousand eight seven thousand eighty five or think about six thousand four or twenty thousand forty three so in this number you see these zeros single zeros are between seven and eight we know that seven and eight are non-zero digit so the zeros between two non-zero digit are significant so we have one two three four total four significant numbers similarly these two zeros are between six and four which is non-zero digit so we have total four significant numbers again here we have two zeros between two four and we have together one two three four five total five significant numbers think about zeros here yeah, the trailing zeros or the ending zeros after decimal are significant what are these suppose you wrote seven point zero zero or you wrote like three hundred 85.04 or you wrote 725.003 so what about this i mean we have two zeros after the decimal so we said that the trailing zeros or the ending zeros after decimal are significant so these zeros after the decimal we have seven which is non-digit so we have three significant numbers here this zero is also after the decimal and of course this four is non-digit so we have five significant numbers in this figure and then there is also one two zeros after the decimal so we can say there are one two three four five six six significant numbers number four the initial zeros are insignificant or we can say the leading zeros are insignificant. What are the leading zeros? Suppose you wrote 0 0.0035 or you wrote 0 0.0708 or suppose you wrote 0 0.3065. So here, these all initial zeros are insignificant. So we have two, two significant figures from this number similarly we'll not look for the initial zeros but these zeros is between these two non zeros so we have three significant figures similarly these all zeros are leading zeros so we'll not count these we have two significant figures number five power of 10 is insignificant what are these suppose you wrote two into 10 to the power 6 suppose you wrote 2.03 into 10 to the power 8 you wrote 3 2.0045 into 10 to the power 7 now you look these 10 to the powers are insignificant 
but you see we have only one significant numbers we have three significant numbers and these zeros after the decimals we have one two three four five total five significant numbers here and about the constant number suppose those are the very constant they have infinite numbers like we know the value of pi which is 22 over 7 we cannot actually uh, limit this number it will be an infinite number so we have infinite significant figures here think about the speed of light which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 it doesn't mean that this 10 to the power 8 is about the power of 10 is insignificant we, this is a constant value and we can say it has infinite infinite uh, the significant number similarly we know the students of chemistry so you know that that we have Avogadro's number like 6.02 10 to the power 23 it doesn't mean that this 10 to 23 would be insignificant so we have we have infinite infinite uh, numbers significant numbers are here so in, in our other uh, refractive index also we know that the refractive index we can say that is about 3 by 2 which is 1.5 but it's not fixed I mean this 1.5 would be depends on here so there is also uh, infinite infinite significant numbers here so those are the constant numbers they have the infinite significant numbers so these are the rules that we can follow to find the significant numbers and figures let's have some practice here we see that there are some the practice so four two five zero think about these this zero are the trailing zeros but there is no uh, decimal after so we can say this is not countable so we can say that there are three significant numbers up there similarly this zero is between seven and eight so we have three significant numbers it's not counted so here we have three also look here these two zeros are between three and five and this point defined this one is fixed and also we have zeros the trailing zeros after the decimal are significant so all this number are significant so we have one two three four five six six significant numbers are there think about here we have all leading zeros so we'll not count this leading zeros so we have seven and eight so two significant numbers from this number similarly we'll not count the initial zeros so we have four digit after so there are four significant figures think about this number so there is a decimal and we have two zeros after the decimal this in ending zero so this is ending zero and after the decimal so this is definitely significant so we have one two three four five six seven so we have total seven significant numbers think about this one there are all non-zero so two three four one though there is a decimal so we know that all non-zero digit are significant so we have four four significant numbers similarly here these leading zeros will not be counted so we have three significant numbers here 10 to the power 6 the power of 10 is insignificant so this should not be counted but this zero would be counted because this is ending zero but after the decimal so we have three three significant figures and one two zero there is no decimal this is leading uh, the trailing zero without decimal so it's not counted so we have two significant figures here 10 to the power 4 is not counted and this zero is also not be counted because this is the trailing zeros without decimal so we have only two significant numbers here you see that there is two zeros after the decimal so we know the trailing zeros after decimal are significant so we have two zeros and before two non digit two non zeros so you have total four significant numbers so these are the rules that we can follow to find the significant figures from a number and there are some practice we did to to make make things clear and those who are watching right now this tutorial you see that how we just maintain the rules or or 
simply uh, you can you can maintain the rules and try to find out the significant figures from a number so thank you so very much for watching this and please let me know your feedback do you really understand and if there is any recommendations i shall be very grateful to have recommendations from your side and these tutorials will go on and definitely i will adjust your recommendations so take care stay well tata -ta.